My name is Brianna Derezzi. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Rehabilitation Sciences at McMaster University and scientist at Can Child Center for Childhood Disability Research. I'm the lead author and co-investigator in a study about the development of a classification system of communi social communication for children with autism. This work has been done in partnership with my colleague here, Dr. Peter Rosenbaum. Hello, I'm uh, Peter Rosenbaum. I'm a researcher at Can Child, and uh, although my particular areas of interest over the years have been in cerebral palsy, the experience that we've had in looking at developing functional classification systems uh, enabled me to contribute to Briano's uh, interest and to participate in the development of this classification system. In the field of autism, we know that uh, children have a wide range of social communication abilities and needs. Um, we also know that in the field that um, there really isn't a common understanding um, for uh, levels of severity. And often um, these um, terms such as low and high functioning are um, unreliable because healthcare providers, um, educators, and parents have different understandings of these terms. Um, and with that, we also understand that in the field, uh, there, uh, these, these definitions of severity are often uh, focused on deficits in symptomatology. So the purpose of our work and in this study uh, was to develop the Autism Classification System of Functioning, or the ACSFSC, as we'll refer to it. Um, this work was done in two phases. Uh, in phase one, we engaged in um, qualitative methodology, um, specifically case study design. And what we did was we, uh, we met with people who knew best you know, uh, the abilities of children with autism spectrum disorder, and specifically preschoolers. So um, we, we met with, um, um, through, through an iterative process of focus groups, surveys, and um, we had uh, families, healthcare providers, as well as um, educators, early childhood educators, who contributed um, to the development of this tool. The other uh, part of the development of the tool was to find out, once we had the levels, whether people would use them consistently. And in the measurement science world, we talk about reliability, that is that different people seeing the same thing describe it in a similar way. And quite frankly, that when I see something today and I see the same thing tomorrow, do I call it the same, uh, or classified in the same way, because reliability uh, is an important part of validity. If I can't be, and if we can't be consistent with one another, uh, and we can't be consistent with ourselves, we clearly aren't clear what we're talking about. What we know so far is that parents are pretty consistent with themselves over time. Parents are reasonably consistent with professionals, but not as high. The reliability is not as high, and that's not surprising because, of course, parents are seeing children in a variety of circumstances, and even the best professional is seeing the child in what is for the child an unusual setting, which is the clinic or the, or the daycare. Uh, so we're reasonably satisfied that, so far, we have something that seems to work, and now there's further work to be developed. So where does this take us? Well, um, this new system, this ACSF SC, um, gives us a better understanding of what children can do, the range of abilities um, on, on, on five levels, five descriptive word pictures. And um, specifically, I think we know from there that families, both families and um, our parents, families, as well as healthcare providers and educators can use this. Um, and it's a common language um, that all groups can use uh, to communicate within a clinical setting. Um, this, this tool, I think, at this stage, is, uh, is this work has shown that it's consistent in terms of how it's been rated by parents, health professionals, and educators, and, um, and specifically for, for children aged uh, between three and six years old. And, uh, and right now, we're currently under, underway in doing a research that will look at uh, children outside of that, those, um, age, that age range. The ACSF and its user guide can be freely accessible 
through the CANCHAL website. Um, it's free to be used for research purposes, clinical use, as well as personal use for families. Um, so please access um, the tool and its user guide on our website and, uh, and reach out to us if you have any uh, further questions about the tool or, or our work. Thanks for listening.